Now in the Bible it says tongues is a sign. It's a sign to them that don't believe. That means when unbelievers come along and they hear people speaking in these strange tongues, they suddenly say, what the heck's happening? Which is what happened to me when I first went along. I heard the strange tongues and I thought, what's happening? And they said, when I got baptized, I would receive the gift. So that's what I did. And that's what happened. Like today I can speak in many different languages when I pray, and I pray all the time. Scripture says when you pray in the Spirit, and in the Spirit is praying in tongues. It says the Spirit groans and moans inside of you and intercedes for you, because we generally don't know how to pray. And it's true, I can pray for hours. I pray on the toilet, I pray in the shower, I pray while I'm... I talk to God, because that's what prayer is. I talk to God all the time. I say to God, one thing I can do is worship you in spirit and in truth. That's what it says in the Bible. I speak in tongues all the time. And it's amazing. And I think they're missing that in a lot of churches today. But it's standard. If you want to be built up and edified, it says pray in the Spirit, which is in tongues. But that's not hard to do. It's not hard to do when you receive God's Spirit. And that's what happened to me. Now there's also the gift of praying out in tongues and the gift of interpretation. So I can do that too. I said to God, one thing I can do is I can pray to you in tongues and I will praise and worship you all the days of my life. And that's a promise. You see, I'm doing that while I'm at work. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. It's part of me. It's a desire. It's a new birth. It's a growth that's happening inside of me. I've been walking in the Lord for 36 years now. Straight from the Hells Angels gang into a Christian walk. First 18 years I stopped drinking. I don't believe that's an issue today. Back then I thought it was important. Now the big thing with this whole Christian walk is the promise is eternal life. Now where else can you get that promise in the world? You tell me. If they offered eternal life at the supermarket, would you go down and buy some? What would you do to get it? Would you mortgage your house? Would you mortgage your life? It's a lot more exciting than what we're doing down here. I can tell you that.